Hey everybody, Up North Guy here. Going to talk about snowmobiles and snowmobiling. I'll say at the beginning, I'm not an expert at this. This is my second season on the snowmobile. We got up here, northern Michigan, a couple years ago. Just loved the winter activity so much. Decided to go all in and buy a snowmobile. So this would be a video for beginners by basically uh, a beginner, a guy who's still learning here. But I'll tell you about how to operate the snowmobile, give you a basic overview of the machine, talk about some safety tips, and we'll get up on the trail and do some riding. All right, so here's the snowmobile that I'm riding. It's the Ski-Doo 2022 Grand Touring Limited. So it's a two-seater. You can see it's a front seat and a back seat. Back seat's got this nice rear backrest there. It's even got little hand heaters and uh, different controls on it. Very, very comfortable kind of machine. Now, we call this thing the slowmobile, right? Not that it can't go fast, just that we don't go fast. I mean, I'm going 35 miles an hour on the trail. That's as fast as I really want to go. I see guys going 50, 60 miles an hour. I think that's crazy. If you can do it, more power to you, but I certainly don't feel comfortable going that fast. So we're the slow mobile. We're the one that's going to be getting passed on the trail a lot, but that's the way we ride it. It's about 10 feet long. End to end, it's got a nice little container compartment back here in the back. About four feet wide at the skis on the front here. It's a four stroke engine in here, which basically means either two stroke or a four stroke variety. Four stroke seems to be the ones that are more popular these days. It's a little bit heavier, but a little bit more durable. It's also, I think, a little bit quieter, but basically means you add the gas and the oil separately. You don't have to mix the two together. <coughs> got a belt drive that's right in here so there's actually like no gears on this just continuous drive belt you squeeze the throttle it's going to go faster you let it go it's going to stop there isn't even really a neutral on here there's a belt system right in here that runs it you can see the track underneath here one thing that's really nice about it it's got these little studs on here that help get a lot of traction and throw a lot of snow up underneath it Go sit on the machine. To get it started, pretty simple. You've got a cord here. This is called the desk cord. It's unique to the machine. It's kind of going to stick right on this little knob here. This part connects to you. So if you go flying off the snowmobile for some reason, this thing is stuck on you and then the machine will stop running because this, this cord's just going to pull right out. And that's another way to stop it as well. To start, it's pretty simple. It's got a key switch here. You want to pull this thing up. You want to make sure your desk key is in there. And then it's just got a button over here, this orange button here. Let's push it. It's going to start right up. It's got a nice display in the middle there. It shows you the temperature and mileage and a whole bunch of other things. If you want to reverse it, just press that same orange button that you started it with. It's going to start beeping and go backwards. When you're done reversing, press it again, and it's going to go forward again. If you want to stop it, you can either push the kill switch down, or you can pull this thing out. Either one of those things will turn it off. So on the controls here, throttle is over here. This is how it goes. Very responsive to your fingers there that's how you're going to get it to go if you want to stop it the brake is on the other side right there it's got a parking brake you pull this lever switch that around that's going to park it pull this in pull that back that's going to take the parking brake off of there heated handlebars with this thing here you can go up and down with the temperature heated throttle so you can go up and down that's going to heat this thing right here that this thing gets so warm, even with a pair of gloves, 10 degrees outside, as cold as it is, you never, I mean, your hands sometimes are sweating on this thing. It's very, very comfortable on your hands. It's got a couple of speeds right here. It's 
It's got a sport mode at the front, eco mode at the back. I kind of leave it right in the middle there. It's also got a controller for the heated seats, which is right here. High setting and low setting, that's going to heat the entire seat for me as well as the passenger. Runs on 87 octane gas, just normal gas goes in there. Gas tank is about 10 gallons and I'm getting about maybe 17 miles to the gallon, somewhere between 15 and 20 miles to gallon, which means I can go you know, 150 to 200 miles on a tank of gas. Basic overview of the machine right there and uh, talk about some safety tips. Some can be kind of a dangerous sport. Here a lot of times guys driving too fast, drinking too much on the trails. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of protection you have once you're on the snowmobile, so you got to be thinking about safety. I mean, one of the main thing is to get a good helmet. You know, I've been using this Modular 3 here from ski -Doo. They make this, but just get a good helmet. That's the only real protection for your head when you're out there on the trail. It also keeps you warm. Uh, that's, that's one thing. Most of it, though, is just common sense. When you're riding on the trails, you want to stay to the right all the time, just like when you're driving a car. You're going to be on the right side of the road. Don't go any faster than what you're comfortable with. Be the slow mobile, just like we are. People pass you, no problem. Pull to the side, let them pass. Don't ride any faster than what you're comfortable with, because when you're out there, you can tend to be sliding around. You hit an icy corner. It's kind of easy to wipe out. We're up here in the real up north, UP, Upper Peninsula, Michigan. You want snow, they got the snow up here. Lots of snowmobilers. It's like a snowmobilers heaven. Never been up here before. When I snowmobile, I do it in the lower peninsula. This winter has just been kind of a dud. It is not enough snow, not enough cold down in the lower, so you got to go find the snow, especially if you want to get into the sport of snowmobiling. So we're on our way. Here we go. So that's it for this one. Hey, I'm really having fun. It's a super fun sport to do. A great way to enjoy the rest of the winter. Get you to some spots you wouldn't otherwise make it to. Hey, if you like the video, do me a favor. Give it a thumbs up. Share it out. Drop in a comment. Check out my channel, Up North Guy. I'll be doing more videos about life and living up in northern Michigan. Last count, I had 106 subscribers, which I think is awesome and amazing. And I appreciate everybody that subscribed. So stay tuned to the channel for more up north guy stuff.